Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I want to show you how to create a Procedure Wind Generator using Geometry Nodes. By the way, this is part of my Geometry Nodes course and uh, I'm just going to show you the first few lessons and how to set up the wind and make it look like actual wind and the other parts you can find in the in the course if you just want the generator i've created which has a lot of things like uh, if you if you wanted to control uh, the wind direction uh, how large the wind is moving and uh, if i wanted to use a different object instead of grass maybe use a, a tree or add some flowers and everything i can just do that quite easily by just duplicating uh, the generator and uh, switching out everything else uh, if you want to get the project files for this you can find that on my Patreon page or on my Gamrod page. But if you want to check out the whole course, uh, that is going to be on, on Udemy. Links are going to be in the description. This section and lecture is going to be an answer to a question asked by one of the students. How, could you teach how you can make animated grass with wind? Uh, that's a good question. And uh, let's see what you could do. So this question, this section is going to be about making animated grass like that. So if you have any questions like this, you can always ask. And if I have time, I'll be able, I'll make a video about it. So let's start right away by setting up the project. I'm going to start with a plane. I'm going to subdivide it a few times and then go to geometry nodes and start setting up some grass. Uh, the first thing I want to do is start with some grass breads. Of course, you can use uh, any geometry you have maybe if you have a collection of grass models you could use that but i'm just going to create something simple here as a grass blade and uh, just it doesn't have to be too detailed and in fact you don't want to make it too detailed uh, because that would increase the simulation or it, it will just slow down geometry nodes and other thing i want to do i don't want to just have one single grass blade i can duplicate this a few times and i'm going to rotate uh, from the pivot point here and just get a pile of uh, blades, random blades in different angles. And if different angles, just like that. So this is going to be my grass blade. And uh, now I just have to instance this on to the ground. So I'm going to jump into geometry nodes and use a uh, distribute points on faces or oh, you can have as many points as you want then the next thing is to instance on those points using the instance on points node and drag the grass blade in here connect it as the instance and we have something like this now for the rotation just drag the rotation into the rotation and i'm also going to go, come to the grass blade and apply its scale and rotation so that the rotation is upwards and i'm going to use a random uh, let's use a noise texture to randomize uh, the scale. I'm just going to plug this into the scale just like that and use a math node to play with the with the operation of multiply to scale this grass down. So this is what we have and we can even come into the grass blade and give it um, grass material, maybe something dark like that. We can now look at this in Eevee. Uh, we don't have enough grass blades and they're all facing the right the same direction so i want to randomize this rotation a bit so let me make some space so i'm going to add a rotate rotation i'm going to use a rotate rotation to add rotation on top of what we get from the distribute point so what i want to rotate is the z-axis so i'm going to create to use a vector uh, it would be a combine xy a vector like this and use a random value because all I want to do is randomize the Z value. So I can plug that in and look at that. We have our grass braids in random rotations. Uh, let me use a very high density, maybe 500 of, 500 looks to be enough. Maybe we could do 800. And you can see it's already starting to look like grass. I can come into uh, the noise and just play with the scale just a bit maybe let's use 0.5 uh, so that the grass is uneven just like that so that's, that's the first part of this section which is just going to be about incensing in the next section we're going to be looking at animating the grass the first level of animation for the grass so this is part two and we are continuing with the section 
So we left off instancing the grass. Now let's start working on the animation. So grass like this can be easily animated by simply rotating the instances. Since we have instances here, we can use the rotate instance node and just plug it in here. So whenever I rotate this, you can see we have uh, something. Now I just have to find the right axis to rotate. And I think either the X or the Y axis could work. So we want to figure out a good way to rotate these instances. And uh, what I found is if you use either a noise texture or a wave texture, you can create some nice rotations. So if I get the wave texture and use Ctrl Shift to preview this node, I'll look at just the instances and uh, you can switch the domain to instances so that you can see how uh, this wave is looking. And I'm going to scale down waves so that we see uh, the wave patterns just like that. As you can see, we have a gradient that grows from zero here, goes to one and comes back to zero. So we can use that as the rotation of uh, our instances. So I'm going to use this in the X and plug that into the rotation. And now I can preview this. So you can see that all the instances in the white area are given a rotation and the instances in the, which would be the dark area or zero area are not given any rotation. So with this, you can see whenever this, the wave texture is animated or changed, you can see the rotation is changing, but the values are very small. We can also add some negative values by using a map range to map these values. Uh, so I'm going to map the zero to one range to a negative one to positive one uh, range. And so this is what we get. Now to animate this, let me first turn off the overlays. Now to animate this, I can come in here and use the position of our instances as the coordinates. And I can plug that into the vector. And if I want to animate this, I can use a vector math, vector math and just add a value to the X and you should see that the waves are now moving in the X in the X axis. You can also move them in the Y axis, but because the Y axis are white and black values, you can't see the waves moving in that direction, uh, but they are moving except that uh, it's, it's, you can't visually tell. Now from there, I don't want the waves to just be simple like this. You can also just come into the distortion and add some distortion just like that so that the waves are moving more randomly and more organically. So I'm going to first turn off the viewer here so that we can look at this. And I'm also going to increase this to maybe 200, 1200 so that we have more particles. Now I can use the expression hash frame divide by uh, let's say 50 to use the current time as the values so that the values are admitted on every frame and you can see we easily get uh, some sort of animation in our waves and uh, because we have the rotation set from negative values to positive values so sometimes you might see that you might have particles that rotate all the way to this side especially if you have a really large range but uh, to limit that you can either just limit the ramp here or use a math node here to scale down the entire range. So I'm going to use a multiply node and I can easily scale down or scale up the range. So if I want uh, the waves to be limited, the way the, the grass bends to be limited to a certain angle, instead of bending all the way down or all the way this way, I can limit it by dividing the range by a half or by, if I want it to really bend down, I can increase it by way too much and you can see now the grass is almost rotating 360 but we don't want that we want to remit the lane the range maybe to 0.8 so that the grass is known to bending you can already see the wind patterns and this already is enough but uh, if you want to go an extra step just watch what we do in the next lecture thank you for watching again that was two lectures from the new section that i've just added to the geometry knowledge course uh, if you want to check out more geometry node content, you can check out the course. Uh, by the way, I also have a Houdini course, teaching Houdini from the perspective of a Blender artist. If you want to take that on, uh, that is also available so that you can escape Blender add-ons. I just think of Houdini as a master add-on for Blenders. Nowadays, if I want to do anything that I can't do in Blender, I just open up Houdini and do that 
there instead of downloading hundreds of add-ons buying houdini versus buying add-ons ends up roughly at the same cost but uh, with houdini you have the additional advantage that you if you learn it you can use it in other ways and uh, it's something you can add on your resume as a skill so anyway if you, if you want to check out all of this all links are going to be in the description thank you see you in the next video